Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey, guys. Lee's right. It was Vernon in that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your characterization, but, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! Fuck them. Cancer, no cancer. Saint Sinner, who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Krista's right. Boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi. What is it? Front doors! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Now what? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Help 
me with this! an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Nixon Kent III, industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm gonna... have to... just... She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. You should've cut it off. At least then there would've been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. 
You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on Alcatraz here. We can't spend the next three months digging through a wall. If the rest is as dilapidated as this... This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... You probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey! And about 50 pounds heavier. You, uh, wouldn't get scared as much. With your arm and my leg, I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. And tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? Make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe he went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. Lee's family's gone, too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Has Scott tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. See that lump on his face? You did that? Mida. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kitty. 
It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Smart. Think of all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Randy Tudor. Good man. Damn fine man. Powerful stash. One of the greats. House is full too. Stay quiet. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go.
Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? Good to be moving. You ready for whatever's coming? I got a lot of pain inside me, Lee. I'd like to get even a little bit of it out. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful, cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. You can hear them, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Past would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. We can't reach her! Find something, dude. I need something sturdy. Onto this, we'll pull you up. Good, thanks. Here, baby. Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. <clears throat> what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Can't you said all that shit and not do something now? Come on, reach! <clears throat> uh, gotcha, hun! Save her! Go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Kenny! Where are you? Oh! 
Where... where'd he go? Maybe... maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. He could be tough to like, but I agreed with him most of the time. So, we were assholes together, I guess. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best, you know that. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. You have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. The decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go, Just go nice, nice and slow. And slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. <laughs> 